Okay, so I'm here with one of my best friends and my partner, Tom Cummins. You've seen him a lot, especially because I do his social media content. Tom, we've been hanging out here in the UK. Right. And I thought about doing a video. I wanted to ask you something. Okay. What's the moment you've accomplished a ridiculous amount of success in your life? Right. What's the moment that you realized, I made it, I, I'm here. Is there a particular moment in time that you can say, after all my success, all my hard work, I can officially say I made it? You know, I tell you, it's an interesting thing, like, you know, definition of having made it, you know? I, I, there's, there's physical success, there's a spiritual success, there's financial success, I, I got to tell you, there was there was a, a point. I remember when I got the first multi-million dollar distribution from my company, and I was like, oh my God, and then it happened again, and it happened again, and I knew I had hit a level. <laughs> I got to tell you something. This is, this is the truth, guys, right? When I started making millions of dollars a month, my life up. I swear to God, do you realize how much money that is? Do you have heard of people winning the lottery or these sports guys? So they get just the amazing amount of money. It warped my universe. Like all of a sudden, going from making, eh, you know, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars a year, which is really good money, to making millions of dollars a month, it warped my universe and it literally honest to god took a couple years to figure out i know this is the stupidest thing you probably ever heard how to be able to have that much money okay so it's the truth all right so i'm going to tell you something success is never going to be measured by a checking account or a bank account it does not Look at how many people, and again, go online, Google, people who won the lottery and it destroyed their life. Go in there and Google sports figures who made all these gazillions of dollars and didn't have pennies left five years later, okay? So it's not going to be money. Now, I, I, I got to, to again, answer Manuel's question here, right? I, I you know, like, but I made it, so I, I have... These organizations, I gotta tell you something. I tell you, there was a point, and this happened about a year ago, all right? Where I had, I was the CEO of our big American energy company, American Power and Gas, and it got to the point where I moved up to the board of directors. My business partner, Jim Bitchworth, moved up to being the CEO, and Tony Toomey, the guy who runs it on a day-to-day -day basis, he moved up to the, be the president, okay? And this happened a couple years ago, whatever period of time it was. And then this got moving on and then it actually stuck. And actually, cause I mean, you try all these things in life, right? And this was a, a year of the shifting gears to where I moved up the board and we now have this company that was from, uh, 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 actually increased in the volume of business it's doing, the amount of profit that it was making and all this other kind of stuff. I'd have to say seeing that operation work like that to where I was able to move off the lines and really be once removed from it and have it still be a cash cow that it, it, it made, it was a huge, you know, wow, yeah, baby, yeah. Tony's killing it, he's making money. Jimmy's killing it, he's making money. And I'm not even there and I'm making money. I'm like going, that was a thing of goddamn beauty. And, uh, but I'll tell you, I have like, you know, for my own targets in life, you know, I want to like, you know, can I afford a private jet? Because I love flying around the world and commercial airlines. I won't do it. And it would be nice, you know, it would be nice like to be able to be able to afford a private jet without it feeling like, okay, that's obnoxious. I'm spending a phenomenal amount of money wasting it kind of so like wasting it on these private jets when I can rent them when I need them. Now I'm paying for it to have it all the time. I want to be able to afford to do that. That is like kind of a self-imposed target where I could have this two, three million dollars a year keep cost to make this thing and not have it be a big deal. Like, you know, we have a cook that works for us and I go, it's not a big deal. I can afford the cook, okay? I can afford the maids. I can afford this. I can afford that. I'd love to be able to afford a, a, a private jet. I would love to have a private yacht 
I love those things, going out there in the water and being out there with my friends and doing all that kind of stuff. I would be able to love to have one of those things and know that, you know, my income's up here and this expense is down there. It's like okay with me, right? And um, so that would be a, a landmark for me, you know, from a financial standpoint. And then from a spiritual standpoint, man, it's like, you know, making friends like this, being able to travel the world with him, him and his wife are here, my wife are here, his kids are here. We're gonna have this stupendous week here. This is success to me. This is really, this is what I measure it by. It's like, you know, how many people do I have around me that I get to count as my friends, that I get to go do cool things with, we get to go do business together, I have that passion for doing business. I have about four or five other guys in, in addition to Jim that I get to work with, play with, e e evolve my own intellectual. Like, you know, really comes down to solving problems together. You know, like people love to make puzzles and they like to do stuff like that. You're solving problems, right? But you get out there in the business world and you take a group of people and you take an idea or a product or a service or an idea or something like that and you go, we're gonna bring this to market and we're gonna go try to make some money on it. We're gonna go, go do this, 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 and this with this and we're gonna get other people to give us money and it has to be more money than what it costs to make and they're gonna have to give us this money and we're gonna end up with this thing called a profit and it's gonna be a beautiful thing and we're gonna take care of all the employees that go do all of this and oh my God, what a nightmare it is to do stuff like that and I absolutely positively love it to death I could just do this and will be doing this the rest of my life right so there's gonna be any point till I go I have enough never never because I love it I love working with guys like this I love <sighs> such joy because he's different than me and he has different viewpoints and he sees things differently and I go wow that's okay I didn't look at it this way okay and then, and he challenges me and I challenge him and together we're more you see and that's what's beautiful that's to me true wealth and I, and and I have that with other people I have it with people that work in my Cummins worldwide area we're doing inventing a kind of like reinventing a whole industry so much fun to go do stuff like that so yeah, just keep going on it, just keep it going and, and until I can have all of these other elements that I want in life, you know, and uh, keep helping my fellow man, keep doing my philanthropic work, all the different things that I have to get done. It's these are the things that matter. And um, yeah, I, I actually hope, actually I'm pretty confident there'll never be a time when I say I've made it. Cause that almost like saying, and now I can relax, or now I can let go, or now I can, uh, what do you want to call it, uh, turn it over to say it's his turn, or that shit. I want to stay in the game to the very, very end, and, and I don't even know when I want to consider it to be the end, because, you know, that's a whole other conversation we can get into, but whatever. So anyway, Manuel, that is my answer. That's my answer. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. I hope you enjoyed it. We're, right. just, we're just getting started. Yeah. Tom's biggest takeaway from what he just said right now, if you're not winning at a high enough level based on what you believe your potential is, you've got to surround yourself with people that are going to complement your abilities and your superpower, and you get to win together, and it's a lot more fun. Totally more fun. Like it, we're having a lot of fun. Yeah, right it's, it makes it worthwhile, guys. You've got to be getting with people that push your boundaries, and you actually help each other. That's the joy, because it's... No matter how much you've got, there's like always a, a, a level of improvement that you can go to and, and your true friends help you reach that, okay? And yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing. You heard it straight from the man, Tom Cummins. We'll see you guys in the next one.